On the Northern Ireland Protocol then, uh, Joe, we saw at the weekend to expect details on Monday. Then we saw on Monday we should expect details on Tuesday. Something is holding this up. Is it entirely domestic UK politics that is holding this? Uh, yes, it feels like it is. It's Rishi Sunak trying to get his party on, on board with his plan, and especially that key caucus of the Democratic Unionist Party, Northern Ireland's DUP, who are basically going to be the party from whom other Conservative MPs take their cue as to whether su to support Sunak's deal. So, yeah, lots of work having to go on in Westminster to get all the ducks in line. But Rishi Sunak might have to ultimately decide he can't get all those people on board, but proceed regardless, because he might think that mm. you know their red lines are just too difficult for this negotiation. Uh, and why does the view of the DUP matter, Joe? I mean, it's not the sort of tight control of Parliament that we saw under Theresa May, and therefore the DUP had much more of a role in terms of the number of votes. Is it more about the tone that they set for Brexiteers? Yes, it's the tone and the very strong relationships they have with the European Research Group within the Tory party, the ERG, and very close links with influential former cabinet ministers like Jacob Bruce mogg you know, Simon Clarks at the meeting like yesterday between the DUP and the ERG. Uh, yeah, there's, there are, they're a pretty vocal minority, and yeah, they can really set the tone for this. And, and, and they will kick up a real fuss if they feel like they're being you know, betrayed by Sunak and the negotiations. So yeah, they're, they're a threat that has to be managed. Mm, yeah, despite some of our reporting suggesting that Northern Ireland, one of the places in the UK that's done quite well, actually, out of the Brexit uh, agreement, as it is, in terms of the economics, at least, the politics is something different. Just briefly then, Joe, how do you interpret the fact that UK nurses have suspended their strike for intensive talks with ministers? It does feel like there's been a, a subtle shift in mood. You know, we saw the evidence go into the pay review bodies yesterday where the Treasury was saying you know, 3.5% pay increases could be permissible. But then again, it seems like we've entered a new phase of these discussions around pay, which could be more positive. You know, the government's keeping its cards close to its chest at this point. But yes, a potential shifting in the mood that suggests we could see potentially an end to all these strikes.